so let's get start demo first of docker database persistence so this is our same example of dotnet core web api which is running uh, our docker contain uh, container and also uh, dependent on sql server which is also uh, running in the docker container so if i run or execute this so now see as of now once i running so we have only the three data right so if i remove that container right so if you remove that container definitely that data will be loss right so what here uh, if you see so as of now three and let me just add one more data one or two data or example like just add uh, two data uh, two new blocks right and if you execute if you see there this two new record has been created right so item number four and five so now we have a total six records if i want to see in the database also i can see there's a six records right and now what i will do simply i'll just uh I, I just remove this container right once i remove the container ideally it should be remove the data right and also let me remove that uh, container or the image container as well right and once i run one more time let me run one more time uh run my application again right once you run my application and if i see the container container is running right if you click that one now container is running and uh, once i uh, see the data like see still the data is persist right so that actually we are trying to achieve in this session data should not be lost if we remove the container right and same things we can check in our uh, in our application like let me refresh right and once i execute and this should be data persist let's see data is persist and uh, it is actually uh, everything actually maintained using this volume so how we can implement this uh, uh, sql server database uh, data persist in our docker container that i'll explain or will implement in this session so let's get start uh, implementation so before implementation i'm especially recommend uh, please watch my this session this multi multi container session right because we have everything creating actually uh, everything explaining as well like how we can create multiple container and also how we can you know, interact with the database using our api using the docker container and all so watch this one so that you can get idea how we can use that multiple container inside the docker and now you can take same example also we just mentioned our same example you can take it so let's start for that now so this is that same example right as of now just we have created a multiple container but still uh, this example will not actually maintain that data persistence right so let's show you first like okay so once first i will do uh, just remove everything uh, from my demo session so let me down first let me down also remove that volumes and alls remove that images whatever we have on the demo session so everything is removed right so what i will do simply uh, or just run this directly over here using the docker uh, uh, docker project right so let me start that setup project so yeah this is the startup project and once you start let me run this as you can see it is persisting database or not that we can make sure first and once we can make sure then we will implement right so now see a container is running and both our container is running and images also has been created and uh, now see it is running and first by default it should be only three data right so uh, once i add let me add one more or uh, two blocks for example this this now it should be uh should we have you know four and fives right so once we have a data so if i remove this container the data should should be removed because we have still we have not implement that data persistence so that we will implement so before implement i'll just show you like whatever we implement in last session what we have so if i remove this 
let me okay so before image remove first we have to remove the container let me remove that container once you remove the container let me remove image as well like and remove that image once i remove image everything we don't have any things right now so what i will do simply one more time uh, let me run this whatever newly data we have added that should not persist it right now let me check try out execute see we have only that whatever that seed data right that also be uh, only we have that whatever last time we add that two or three data right block data that is not persist so that is a problem actually so that will be implement here so let me remove everything okay and then we'll start the implementation so remove this guy remove this and before that remove will that remove this remove all the container all the images so once everything is removed go back to your project solution right so this is my same project which i have taken last session so you also can refer the previous session and you can take this example and what i need to do simply nothing we have to do i just little changes we have to do on that docker compose file so open that you know on docker compose file right and here what i need to do i have to just add one volume so let me add that volume in the end end of this file right and what would be that volumes like use that volumes like that so use the volumes and make it whatever volumes you want so i just make it okay mysql container dot data one right or just make it data right whatever this you can just refer you can use it that so once you add this volume said that volumes actually you have to refer in our here like in your uh, in your sql server container right so in this sql server container you have to add that volume so let me add that volume like how we can do that it's very simple like again hit enter and go back to here and just add this volumes the add this new property of the volumes and use this name whatever you just created new volumes right so this is the volumes name just add over here and then colon and it is just specify whatever actually uh, in your uh, virtual machine where you want to actually store your uh, data and all which will keep in persistent right so this is that location you can keep it this location or you can just whatever name you can just want you can change it but yeah ideally linux system is using like this format so you can use that one okay so once i add it over here right so this is just folder and all just we mentioned whatever you want you can just make it uh, in your place so this is complete actually for this uh, persistence of the sql server basically idea is you just have to create the volumes and inside this volume they actually specify the place we are actually they keep the whatever the our dbs files and everything they will keep it right so once it's done let me run first this uh using the visual studio right and once the complete the visual studio i will show you in our command line as well so let me start first up here now see it is running so before running i'll show you uh in this container see both container is running perfectly right and uh, sql server container also is running and one more thing actually see this uh, volume data actually they have to keep it right i created actually new volume go to this volume in later but yeah first like let me see the data and all right so go back to here now by default it have a uh, three data right means three blocks so first let me connect this guy right so let me refresh and now now open that uh, db right so this is my db and here and let me check our table so this is my table blocks and once i start now see it got a three default seed data which we have in our application so this is the seed data which we create the three blocks right and what i need to do simply i have to just add uh, 
two two or three uh, new blocks like for example uh, data persistence right and now this is fine once I execute and also let me add one more uh, docker multi container right container so this is sufficient let me check whatever the data we have added properly edit or not yeah this is edit properly even if you want to see you can go to that api container so those are inserted command also you are able to see in this container log as well right so once you get it and also you are getting that all the data over here and that we can make sure in the db as well so let me check it yes then db whatever the new blocks we have to create it that we have here right so now what i will do for testing purposes i'll just remove that container right let me remove the container once i remove the container and uh, also remove that images right now it should not persist in last time but yeah we have added something so now data should persist over here so that is the goal actually so what i need to do simply again just run our application one more time and see whatever data we have added in last time that should be persist now let me check execute now see whatever last time we added the data will not loss right the data is uh, still exist uh, uh, till now if you remove uh, your container and all there's a doesn't matter right because they everything keep it your volume so if you want to see where actually your data uh, persist right so where is the exact location right which we have mentioned in a docker file so what you can do go to your uh, visual studio all uh, right and here you can go to your container like view uh, go to other window and here container if you open that container this two container over here so if you go to this container and here uh, there are the volumes right this is your volumes and this is the destination right where actually your store and uh, also if you want to see the files so you can check it even that location as well here so that we have to store that where and then where we have to store something called uh, go back to here and check that location what is that location we have mentioned so where option and then opt and then mysql uh, right so go to yeah this is that op option and this is that mysql and here they actually keep that all the information which we have we have shown in our uh, volume right so this is the same location volume location which we can see over here same location over here right so this is actually keep the data and all whatever we have to keep so like this way actually docker uh, keep uh, the data persistence over here right and uh, that's all for this session yeah in upcoming session we'll do more and more using the docker and all but yeah uh, one more thing actually I'll, I'll show you like see we are running using that uh, uh, directly using visual studio uh, project docker compose project file right but yeah, i'll show you with this uh, uh, with this command line as well so let me remove first again all the container right and once i remove once i remove image as well and now go to that project solution and open that root folder go to that open that root folder and using a command line right use that command prompt and in this command prompt what you need to do simply uh, just use this command docker or let me zoom in for you little bit so that you can see right so docker compose and then up up for up and just deattach so once you add this command so it will try to you know uh, build a image and create that image and running that image inside that container and uh, run build, run your application so now this is this is things now if you see see image has been created also if you see over here so the both are container actually it's running right so if you go over here so this is first time actually it's running right and also it's created a different volume for this right and as of now you can see here uh, if you go back to here let me refresh and 
execute now see default data is there and once you add the data again the same things it will keep persistence of that volume right so let me i just add it actually few few data for example see like eight or nine actually blocks we have just created and we can check it over here as well now see there's a many new blocks we have to create it for this this uh, volumes and then what i need to do simply i have to just remove that right so that we can make sure once i remove that uh, container it should be persist and also remove that guy and go back to here and make sure uh, no docker is running right so let me check that docker ls and if you see there's a nothing is running right so yeah uh, docker not ls docker ps so docker ps actually tell us okay what are the containers running there's a no container running let me run this container using that compose up that and once you run one more time so whatever data last time we have added for this particular volume right so that should be persist so now see everything is running go back to container everything is running perfectly now volume also is created for this it it, it is in use right and data will be persisted on here and let me check the data so once i execute see whatever data we have just last time added they are persisted over here using the command line as well right so both way actually i have shown you right we can keep it we can manage our data inside the docker container how we can do that that is actually very easy right so also the last things actually we can check it over here yeah that is persistent so that's all for this session and uh, yeah before closing what i will do simply what we have uh, what we have do always right so that practice will do like same uh, this uh, source code right will provide you so using that github so let me add that in our github for this session so let me create and close so now see this is already already has been created so you can use it this guy in our my github link right which already we even we will provide in our description and that's it for this session right so have a nice day and don't forget to like subscribe and share